Hey there, it's Flatbread Friday, and I made a trip to the Fresh Market the other day, and we have some really nice sweet Italian bulk sausage, and in my refrigerator at home, I had some peppers and onions, and I know it doesn't sound very creative, but today we're going to do a classic sausage pepper and onion pizza. Oh, and by the way, a fresh pizza crust from the Fresh Market, too, and um, it's going to be delicious, and let's get it done. We're going to start out by cooking our sausage, and since it's bulk sausage, we're just going to break it up into this skillet over medium heat. Not coming apart very easy. We'll put big pieces in, and then we'll chop it up. And I love the sausage from the Fresh Market because it's super fennelly, and that is my favorite thing. So we're going to cook this down till it's no longer pink. And I think we're just gonna use our vegetables raw because they will cook in the oven on top of the pizza dough. We're starting to sizzle up and we're gonna keep breaking it up and chopping it up. It'll take just a little while. While our sausage is cooking, we're gonna prep our vegetables. First comes our pepper strips. Decide whether I want them in strips or dice. But we'll figure it out. I think we will dice them. Which means we're gonna go this way too. Get out of the way. And we can make a good size dice. Our peppers are all diced up and mixed up, and now we're going to do our onion. We have ourselves a sweet onion. Cut it this way. I don't know if I'm going to use the whole thing. Let's see how much diced onion this gives us. Time to go this way now. It's going to be plenty. I'm just going to put this last end just to chop. Definitely plenty. Let's check on our sausage and see where we're at. And then we will assemble our classic sausage, pepper, and onion. Pizza. Peppers and onions are ready to go. Our sausage is cooked up nicely. Some of the pieces are slightly pink and they're chopped not too finely. I like it. These bigger pieces are gonna make them make this a yummy, meaty, vegetable -y pizza. And I'm just gonna leave these in the pan. They will continue to cook until they're done. As you can see, there's not much fat, so I don't have to drain this sausage. That's another thing about the fresh market sausage is that there's hardly any fat in it. I don't know why. But here's our sausage crumbles, all ready to go. And now we're gonna build our pizza. I've turned the oven on to 450 degrees because that's the recommended temperature for this pizza dough and I've spread a little bit of flour on our work surface. Get some on your hands, spread it around, and now we're going to shape up our dough. Here's our dough ball. Coat it with the flour so it doesn't stick to anything. And stretch it out around the edges. Not doing it in front of the camera, duh. Now we're going to 
get into the middle. Make it bigger. And we'll go back out to the edges. And we'll lay it down on our flower board and shape it into a rectangle. And no, I still haven't bought a round pizza pan, but one of these days, pretty soon, stretch it out. This dough is the easiest pizza dough I've ever worked with in my whole life. I was going to say career, but I didn't always cook professionally a lot of the time, but not all of it. Okay, we're going to keep shaping until we're in the right shape. Our pizza dough is on our sheet pan on top of some parchment. And what we're going to do is what we usually do, give it a little roll all around the edges. Take those rolled edges and using our thumb and forefinger about every inch or so, give it a pinch, a pinch for an inch, and that'll help it to stand up and into that corner. And that's what we look like. We're going to go all the way around. Our dough is all crimped up, and now we're going to take a fork and Poke it all the way around to keep air bubbles from forming when it bakes. We're all pierced up and now we're ready to put on our toppings. Let's go. The first thing that's going on is our sauce. This is fresh market pizza sauce. Because I didn't have any tomato sauce on hand, so I bought some of this. And it's good, I know, because I used to make pizzas with it before. Let's see how we do. We're going to spread it all around. You know I like to do the outside edges first. And we're going to stay inside the crimped edges because we make a nice puppy crust. Well, I do anyway. Our sauce is nicely spread around smells delicious and it's going to be delicious because it is delicious. Our next step is shredded mozzarella. Sprinkled all over. Kind of stuck together. You too. And we'll cover the whole thing. It is now time for it is now time for our crumbled sausage. And we're gonna distribute this all over. And make a nice meaty sausage pizza. By the way, this is a pound of bulk sausage meat. So we're going to keep going until it's all on. Our sausage is on and this is a meaty pizza and it's going to be so yummy. Next thing that's going on are our peppers and onions. Let's do the peppers first. And the peppers are on. Colorful and nicely distributed. And here comes our onions. And those are on. I think those are, that's plenty of onion. I didn't use all the onions I cut up. This guy could be smaller. Okay, now we're gonna finish it up. Now I'm gonna give it 